Mr. Kish, this is Ali. In one of your previous teachings, uh, you draw a diagram where you showed uh, how to create a motorless um, system using a MagGraph coil and uh, three uh, basically dots of Ganses. And uh, Rick, if I can share my screen. Go ahead. Thank you. Um, so this is basically you said that if we have a, a MagGraph coil in the middle of the fields, if we use, uh, let's say, three kind of Ganses and one at the top, you can create a motorless system where, where um, these um, fields will rotate. And you're talking about also the hydrogen and uh, how to contain hydrogen. Um, how would um, containment of hydrogen in this system would come up? Because like on the top, I did put the hemoglobin GAN, so there's CH3 there. Um, so I need a bit of your input to understand how, um, how we can make this your fly. Problem with your, your problem with your cups is that they're open. Okay. The, um, the, you have to be able to encapsulate the whole sphere, the whole plasma. Uh, our guys in the Innovation Center have started this process in the past few days. <coughs> but it's so, we usually keep things to develop and then we explain, but this is so radical and important that it cannot be done that way, that's why I brought it up into the teaching. Um, in essence, you have... Let me tell you what I've taught. No risk. You're there, Ali. Yes. Go back in your, in your teachings, in your, your understanding. How do you produce hydrogen? Um, I use aluminum and caustic to produce hydrogen, but we can use the use CH3 with iron and, uh, and copper as well. Or in, the process, in the process, of using aluminium and caustic. How are, gonna, you, how are you going to encapsulate or control the caustic? Or mm. the hydrogen? Um, there should be a rotation, and in that rotation, the, the, the hydrogen will go in the center and it, it will light up. So if we can create an initial rotation and then feed hydrogen in and while it's rotating in the vacuum in the center that can that can remain there and auto activate you know, i mean it will continue to stay there um Brennan, are you there in the background Brennan? Do you see Renan anywhere? I see Renan there as uh, his usual name. Let's have a look at the viewers. But you have been uh, in Verne. I don't see um, Verne in, in here as well. Oh, there's Verne. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe he can. Hi, Verne. Hi. Bernie, do you have access to the big pictures of the latest core? Yeah, let me check on that for a second. Why can't you? The condition of the transfer of the hydrogen, you can do very directly by using the container. But the process is, can I share a screen, please? Yes. Okay. Share a screen. Um, 
if you look at the structure, somehow I have punched this thing again. Okay. Somehow it's connecting to each other. When you add the hydrogen in the center, the GANs of CH3, it becomes a containment for the hydrogen. This GANs, because of its blanketing, changes the composition of the hydrogen from a gas into the GANs of hydrogen. Now, the hydrogen behaves as a plasmatic condition. This is what we explained two years ago, when Armand was playing with and creating huge amount of uh, hydrogen bubbles. And I told him this is dangerous. And then if you understand the reason I explained to him later on, if you get this hydrogen, one of its molecules, first, when it changes into the atomic and then to the GANS and then the plasma of the hydrogen, that's why we call it the GANS, at the strength of the amino acid, which has the strength in it of the soul of the man, then you can interfere with the soul of the man. This is, this is why it's crucial to understand the process. This is why we play with CH3. And what happens here now, because this center field has become of the GANs of the hydrogen in a one single plasma, the CH3 here converts to tritium. behaviors as the plasma treaty. Because now he has a common denominator to put it in. And then what happens, what are you going to be left at? Actually, in this environment is very simple. All you have left here is this, a layer of carbon in the gas state. The hydrogen, which comes from the tritium section of the CH3, now becomes the second layer to the first layer, which is here. Now you understand the left position. You have to produce enough hydrogen in a monoatomic gas here, that in the strength, some of it finds the Earth gravitational magnetic field strength, and then left is one way. Now I told you, when you go to the hydrogen level, this is the ultimate. Till you do not get the right rotation. Till you do not get the right composition of the hydrogen in the strength, till you do not get the actual, what we call, the blue part here, is containing this. Now, this is a containment for this one. So, you have achieved the Caroline core and outer core at the same time. The boundary level is only on the field strength, and this is what you're going to get. Two core condition, but totally in a plasma condition. Because the speed of the rotation comes into it, every RPM has a voltage value in a plasmatic condition. 
when you go to 10,000, you create the voltage value of that. For your power production, this is all you need to do. Here is a higher order, here is a lower order, here is magnetically high, here is gravitationally high. If you can tap into it, you have yourself one megawatt power unit. Ten megawatt power unit, depends what your desire is. You call it earthing. Earthing is to find out the minimum common denominator plasmatic gravitational field on a gravitational strength compared to the maximum of the magnetical gravitational magnetic field. Because both going in and going out have both. You have to find the minimum common denominator what goes in and the highest which is coming out on the top. That's why when you mix a CH3 with a, a, what you call CO2 and you write it as given the speed, you'll find the interaction. Because that given the speed creates a potential difference for the separation of the two and the creation of the cell. That's why it's important and you need high RPMs with the containers. That's why you find neutron stars are higher speed rotating. The speed of the rotation of the system dictates in many ways its gravitational magnetic field strength because this is at the speed I'm prepared to release so much energy. You do this in a physical term. You put water in a full container and you start spinning it. At the given speed, at the given speed of rotation, so much of the liquid will come out of the container, splashes out. It's the same process. It's exactly the same process. Now you understand the relationship, now you understand the process, how things work. You can do, because it's the easiest way. The ones on the space side have moved on further in this. Another innovation group is just touching on it. In a deep space testing, I know some of the Chinese are, have achieved things, but they don't see it, so because they don't see it, they don't understand it, but they see some of the effects. 